Okay, right now uh, we're going to draw some simple pictures of uh, different top grinds that are very common top grinds. We have the most accurate and most modern saw grinder made on earth at this time. If you can think of it, we can grind it. Uh, it's a free programming machine that, that is just amazing. But let's talk about just some standard top grinds that, are, that, that you guys are going to commonly use every day. This first top grind is a straight top grind. It's what we made our illustration with earlier. This top grind is a beautiful grind for, for, for cleaning out wood. Uh, if you need to cut and you want to get through a rip saw, beautiful grind. And it's actually going to give you a smooth finish. Now that you guys know about radio clearance, I'm going to show you something here real quick. If you use a straight top saw blade, let's say you're using a 30 tooth straight top saw blade. You have 30 teeth in contact with the material on both sides of your cut. It's going to give you 30 striations per revolution. Keep, hold that thought. This is an alternate top bevel side, uh, uh, top grind, alternate top bevel. One tooth is beveled left, one tooth is beveled right. And it can be from, I mean, we can go crazy, but normally we only like to go up to a 30, 35 degree bevel, down to a 10 degree bevel. We can do more, but this is, uh, it, it gives us too weak of a cutting edge if you go more than that. But this grind shears the wood fibers really, really well. It just gets in there and just shears them. It actually, in the old days, if you wanted to get a really smooth cut on a laminated or like a door, you'd tape it and you'd, you'd cut it with a razor knife. Well, this grind actually, it reaches out beyond on the left side and on the right side, and then it removes the core material. So it really shears the wood fibers beautifully. But if you want a smooth cut, because we've cut away a part of this tip, I'm going to draw the dotted line in here. This is what we've removed. Notice the radial clearance, if this is 30 right here, over here it might only be 28 thousandths of an inch. So what effectively you've done, you made your 30 tooth saw blade a 15 tooth as far as side finish goes. Because we removed half the cutting edges on this side of the saw blade that are, are leaving the striations in your wood. So the smoothest cutting top grind is a straight top grind of the same number of teeth. If it's a 60 tooth saw blade, that's going to give you a really smooth cut. If I make a 60 tooth alternate top bevel saw blade, only 30, stri only 30 cutting edges are leaving the striations in the side of the material. 